Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for the next episode and final episode of Battle Brothers Legends and PTR mods with the Peasant Militia. We are going to be missing our friendly neighborhood scrotums after this one, I am sure. So last episode we did go around the map, we did deal with the Rashageist here and there. So now that Drisk has the super duper sword, at least we got to see some use out of it. Unfortunately, as we mentioned last time, the... Monolith is unfortunately bugged this time, similar to how in the Legendary run as the Wankers it was also bugged, but fortunately this time we were actually able to do all the other Legendary locations except that one compared to when we played as the Wankers and it only let us do like two or three of them. So at least it's definitely robust. I am also using a much older version of the Legends and PTR mods now, there's been loads of updates, so it probably would work again, but I'm not really willing to update the game just in case there's some sort of like corruption, especially this far in the game. This is like the last episode, it's going to make no difference. So we're currently trapped out here at the moment, we are on like almost no money, we have blasted through it. Remember when we were on like 100 grand? I remember when we were on 100 grand. But that is not going to be the case. I feel like the Peasant Militia have not pissed all the money in and away, but they've at least reinvested it into themselves, so then when we go back to Newark, we can, you know, protect it better. But that is going to be the case. We are going to be going back to Newark today. We're going to be trying to get them back in good stead. They're not a big fan of us. No, no, they're quite unfriendly. The house is unfriendly, and Newark is also unfriendly, which we don't want. So our aim for the last episode is to get the place that we reside from and came from and will want to protect for years to come just in a better position. I'm not aiming to get all the way up to Allied. That might take too long, but at least getting into really friendly territory would be nice. So let's get walking. We've only got a bit of money to actually get us over there, and I do need to do a bit of recovery as we walk. We'll see if we get attacked and we'll see what happens. Let's see what nice scene we can do for the last episode and then we'll have a bit of a super roll call i guess at the end just to have like just to see everyone and then uh stay tuned as always at the very end of this episode as there's always a few things to uh clue you up on for some after bits i mean you don't have to watch it if you don't want to just skip through the whole thing it's up to you okay so we got here relatively fine other than the part where we've got so little money now but i'm actually really concerned we're going to run out in like five days our money is nice not that nice. Uh, and I say everything's fine. If I just zoom out for a second, I mean, the dock is currently on fire, so that's not doing super well. I did forget that there is currently the Noble War 2 is currently kicking off. I was kind of hoping that Newark would have, like, some contracts to do with that. I mean, I do want to go and kill them, but also there's no contract for it, so it's not going to help raise the situation for Newark. So let me see what I do have. And then I can kind of go from there. Hopefully I can make some spawn. Maybe we just have some easy ones as well. What's this one? There's probably some I'm probably going to cut in and out of. Because there's going to be some like this one. Where I just need to get to downward and back. How, how far away is that? That's not super far, right? Where is downward? It's just there. Stuff like that I'll just cut in and cut out. And then they just want to go and destroy some brigands. Whatever makes it so Newark likes us again. West of Newark. Okay. Let me go deal with this. Let's go crack on with this. I know the dock is on fire. But I am going to go and basically use it. Wherever I've got to go all the way up this bloody hill. Okay, fine. Go on then, let's crack on. Sorry, I know the dock's on fire, but I will come back and save you at some point. Maybe put some contracts up there to kill those guys. I'm just saying. Oh my god, this is awful. I'm really scared. This is gonna go tits up very quickly. We're gonna, we're gonna finish this whole story on just being the poorest people in the world, which is bizarre to say that the amount of money that we've just blasted through without a care in the world. And now here we are. Ah, back to being peasants. Beginner's peasant, return to peasants. Right, let me wait till daytime. Interesting time to find a champion in like the last episode, not that we're really gonna need them. These guys look a bit more than your average brigands, don't they? Where's the uh, infamous schoolie? I don't think he was the big guy. No, it's Hjalmar the sniper, who's probably gonna be a dick, let's be honest. Let's see what he does. Also, we're just looking at like the setup, I mean, obviously, our group is super duper powerful now, so it makes sense that we've got to kill more people for the same amount of money, but eeh, Jesus. Oh, that was almost a headshot kill. That's a shame. We are still pretty biffed and banged up. We have not really recovered too much since last time. We've kind of walked here, but we're still not exactly the creme de la creme, let's say. Okay, you hit the wrong guy. Just go down, mate. You, you, you're basically out of blood. Just, just let it go. Let it go. Like so. Headshot. Not quite. There's the headshot, baby. Whip. Oh, I'm going to miss the whip. I really am. 
I never thought I'd, be, I'd really care too much about using that weapon, but man, it's been fantastic. What a time to be alive with that weapon, eh? What a time. Well, for us, not for them. It must be a terrible time to be not alive for those people. But hey, not my problem. I'm just dishing it out. Okay, that's going to make them come in. Fabulous. Let's get surrounding already. Let's go already. I mean, who needs armor when you've got a crossbow like that? So where's he got? He's got a crossbow. This is the part where I find a I find a better crossbow in like the last episode. Saying that, I mean the crossbows we've got now are not bad by any means, but it'd be interesting. It'd be pretty interesting. Am I gonna be able to get in in time? I don't think so. No, don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Are you gonna get Baron help? I mean, yeah, yes, technically yes. Okay, get there. The it being a forest is really not really incentivizing us to actually push up because it's taking us a bit longer. But that's fine. That's all right. You're going to now come in and probably shoot. Not quite. No peace. Po no peace possible. Where shoot her? No, not quite. All right. All right. All right. Good cheeky stab. Let's get in to get ready to do some more whipping because we love to see it, especially in the last episode. Cherished it. What are you doing? You know you're a champion, right? You know you should be doing more than just walking around, right? I, I mean, I don't know. I don't make the rules. If he wants to just walk around for this entire fight, then, then let him, I guess. Okay, maybe he is a bit more ruthless. I've also just noticed he's got a blacksmith's hammer. So, he is also maybe a champion-ish? Not just a, a named one, but like an actual champion. Maybe he's like technically a warlord? I don't know. Is this going to be a thing where I spent like 20 grand on that hammer and then it's, surprise, we spawn another one for you right now. And I'm like, god damn it, game. Oh, I love it. I love that we're getting to see it more in this one as well, because usually in the other runs, we've usually like finished the game before we get it or just as we get it. So you don't, we don't really get to experience it. So it's been nice that we've been able to. Bro, wake up. Wake up, please. Oh, he's a squire. He ain't. I mean, and he never will let to be at this point. Heinrich, good old smackaroni. Who's close to going down? There's the whip to the arm? There's the head shot? Did you shoot him in the head or did you just shoot him? I mean, he just says shoot shot, so I assume he shot him in the head. Nice little regeneration. That's going to take a while to cut through, but that's a good one as well. Can you throw? See you later. Almost a toofa. Do you like a toofa? Oh, I really wish. I st I'm still under the impression and agreement that I really wish that when he repost, it did actually also do lightning. Maybe that's overkill. Maybe that's, that's maybe that's too powerful. Maybe that's too powerful. Well, I don't think so. I think it'd be fun. Oh well. Right. See ya. Who else is in? Not that guy. I will say that much. All right, good luck with that. Have fun. Can I actually get into any of this? I can. Can you get... get go around. Go around. Go around, Arkid. We are, once again, not in the best positions for some of our armor and stuff, so all it will take is an awkward shot, and then... What are you doing? You, you do know that you're a champion ranged character, right? Not just a regular Joe melee. Okay, that was silly. <laughs> our fight will be legendary, apparently. Okay, well, good stuff. That was uh, a weird start. Nobody runs. Everybody fights. Fire into that. Yeah, Woodcutter gets what you want. Wait for it. Okay, we're good. We're okay. Can you get there? You can. Get Drisk in there as well. This is fine. Kimos had worse. I don't know what you were trying with that. Actually, surprisingly close, you know. Man. Oh, man. The power. The sheer power. And gone. And gone. Love it. What are you playing at here, Almar? You're a sniper. Not... Oh, mate. I mean, mate. Come on. The fact that you're alive is pretty impressive, honestly. Good dodge. Even with the uh, it avoiding shields, it's still doing pretty well. See ya. Who's even in? That's a lot of armor to get through. Saying that... Is it, though? The answer is no. Uh, right, where are we at? Bye, Helmo. I mean, that was a bit of a wet fart of a champion, wasn't it? Just saying. 
Who's gone? Everyone's gone? Right, you're gone. You're lucky. You're not so lucky. To say the least. Oh, there goes the running. I'm assuming this other guy is now going to cheese it. Not that I really need the stuff anyway, so... It would, it would just be nice to, like, have a, have a look. You want to go hammer on hammer? That's going to be interesting. All right. See how that goes. Oh, boy. He didn't even stand a chance, did he? Of course you hit him. Bloody hell, that, that ability, though. Okay, so all of a sudden we have a slight issue. Nice one, Brian. What did I tell you about the whip, man? What did I tell you about the whip, man? Can I shoot this idiot? Not without maybe shooting our idiot. Which would probably be worse. Let's be honest. Come on, can we not have any deaths in the last... In the last episode, can we not have any deaths, please? I mean, on our, on our side, should I say. Deaths on their side? Absolutely fine. Deaths on our side? Big no-no. Big old no. Come on. This guy in running anywhere. Oh, come on, Schmidt. Don't die. Don't do not do this to me in the last episode, please. If he's so dumb. All right, shield up. All right. You're both hitting each other in the head. I don't know what, I don't know what really to say. Maybe... What's his name? Maybe Infamous Schooly is Schmidt in another life. So he's playing very much like him. Well, you can... You can buff that right out with just a, you know, just a little bit of regeneration. So I think, I think you're okay. Ah, this guy's up for a fight, it seems. Not for long at this rate, if I can just get the right people in. Where, where is everyone? Come on, show me the money. How are you doing with that? Right, plaster him up a bit. <sighs> you stab him in the eye, man. I mean, I know we're uh, big fighting force, but stab him in the eye? It's a bit mean. Right, Schmidt, can you, can, you, can you finish it? Two turns, come on. Come on. Crush his head. Crush his head? Okay, nice try. An attempt was made. Unfortunately, it was a it was a bad attempt. I've got nothing else to say to that. Next turn, you've got to kill him. What? Guys, what did I say? Come on now, he's just one guy. He's just one guy. Come on. I feel like it's only fair to uh, let Schmidt handle it. Hammer on hammer. It's only it's, it's the respect I give to this infamous schoolie. Schooly? Schooly? Yeah, I'm saying that right. Probably. Come on, Schmidt. Take him out to pastures new. Try again. Okay, alright. I think maybe he's getting a bit old. I think Schmidt's uh, getting on a bit in age. He needs to go back to blacksmithing, which he will be doing as long as he survives this episode, I'd imagine. Anyway, this guy's kind of nothing to our crazy cultist man. God, I'm kind of scared to see what Eric might do when, once I let him loose onto the world after he leaves the scrotums. Well, anyway, what did I get? So I got that ridiculous, like, reverse beak helmet, so that's something. And I also got the Furious Blithorse Skyfire. I mean, 50 to 70, it didn't roll on damage, so I don't really care. I'll take the Silly Duck helmet, though. Uh, no, slit their throats. Food is a problem. Ah, oh, Jesus. Maybe I need to go to Salisbrook first. I'm going to Salisbrook first and quickly grab food. You guys, you put me through much, so much. You put me through so much trouble sometimes. You know that. Okay, just to clarify, I just want to see if this hammer is actually better than the one that Schmidt has. Because if it is, I'm gonna be kind of annoyed that we spent so much money. So 38 to 57. Okay, so already that's worse. 50 and 218. Okay, no. So Percy's beak ain't got shit on the ravenous cataclysm. Also, ravenous cataclysm, as edgy as it is, is a pretty cool name. Let's be honest. Maybe for a 16-year-old. Right, anyway. I, I I know. Look, I'm, I'm trying, buddy. And there's not really much else here. So, no, I'm good. I will make my own ambition for this finale. Thank you very much. Right. Not really interested in that. Let's get back to Newark. Let's get our payday in. I managed to sell everything from killing all the uh, green skins and orcs in the last episode, so that's fine. You need to do a bit of recovery here and there. Shouldn't be too bad, really. Let's go go get a payday, and let's see how Newick has reacted to that. How are you feeling, Newick? Cold. Well, it's not unfriendly anymore, so we aren't getting there. What else we got? What else do we have? Right, I'll go and quickly do this off camera. I just need to walk up here and walk back. Not a problem. I'll tune us back in, in a hot second. But of course, we actually get rumbled on the way there. About a group who wants to take our cargo. It's not even like that good cargo. So I don't know what you're even wanting, mate. So, so much of this easy just goes down wall and back in a few seconds. I don't know what it is about the game currently where it just wants to hurt us when we're just trying to help out Newark. 
I just want to just want to put him in a better position before we finish for the season season. But no, but no. Who is this dickhead? Merc. All right, he's just got a he's got the hat, and it's a cool hat when we wear it. It's not a cool hat when someone else wears it. Just to clarify. I mean, I aimed at this guy, and you shot at this guy. So I think uh, L agrees with that. Keep shooting. I'll keep trying to shoot. I guess. Hey, miss. Come on now, wake up. Oh, come on now, wake up. That was supposed to be like the first foray into fighting, but... Not a, not a good start, not a good start. We need to get some killing done. A bit better. We can take out like this middle group pretty... Who are you? This middle group pretty quickly. We might be in for a, a good time. We'll see. Decent. Swinging, please. At least you hit him. At least you hit him. You didn't hit him. You did. And obviously Eric did, because why? Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? 45. Not great. To be expected with the low Rolios, but it's alright. One down. Keep on that, please. Keep on a swivel. You're now running. Fabulous. Kind of on the way. Can you get there? Good start. Stab in. Oh, yes. Good stuff. Can you get there and attack still? Uh, <laughs> yes, the answer is hell yes. My brother. Right, okay. Corvo, can you get in this corner here? Lissandra, I don't think you're... Well, I'll go right between the eyes. Screw it. You guys want this? Come and get it. We do have a lot of halberdiers. We do have a lot of two-ranged swingy mace boys, swingy flail boys, so gotta be careful of that. Also, all the follow-ups might be quite dangerous to our health. Come on, it's night time. That should hopefully work in our favor. No, you're going to set Kimor on fire at night time. Okay, cool. That's fine, I guess. Except for Kimor, of course. Do not set my whip man on fire. I would like to see him for a little bit more. That's not ideal. Also not ideal. I mean, none of it's ideal. Okay. They really just want to kill Sky Splitter now. Can I have a go, please? Please, can I have a go? Not before they almost absolutely destroy Sky Splitter again. Brian has something to say about that. Did that not waste your like entire movement? No. Probably not. Apparently you have. Are you kidding? Right, at least you're gone. What is going on with this? Right. Okay. Well, hang on. Hold the goddamn phone because this is getting silly now. Right, that's Summit. Get in there. Get to work, please. This has now gone into stupid town territory. You hate to see it. You really do. Jesus. Right, well. Sorry, I'm putting you in the fire. Get him out. Go around. They should regen him. And you will get some revenge, but Jesus Christ, man. I think we need to see how that goes, don't we? Right. One down. How are we going with this? You're running as well. Great. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not having a great time either. Shield up. Hit him in the head. You actually got away. Oh, you, you rolled a 98. Yeah, that's why. Unlucky, my, kid, my son. Okay. Can we stop playing with our food? Nope, Sky Split is gonna die. Okay, very unlucky. What a what a way to end the series. We are actually gonna see a death. Unless he absolutely wakes up a bit. Okay. Which one's next? I don't think I'm pulling him out, I'll be honest. Can I stand this is gonna sound ridiculous. <laughs> Can I point blank this guy to stop him from killing Sky Splitter? Funnily enough, I can. That's a weird turn of events. He ain't running. Oh, well, now I've got to be careful of Elmer. Elmer's running like a madman. He will dodge, though. He will dodge. Harry Beast has not got a lot of health left. So i got to be worried about that as well. He's got to be worried about bloody everything. Okay. Eric has protected Big Harry Beast. You'll love to see it. You do. 
Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Right. Let's get into gear, please. Because that was... So silly. You don't need that in this episode. No, no, no. We do not. Can you now flip back? I mean, you, you made them run. That's the important part. Schmidt, go up that way, please. You, me old mucker, go all the way over there. You are one lucky son of a gun, let me tell you. Are you serious? Are you serious? What was that chance? He rolled an 18. Big hairy beast dies in the last episode. Ugh. My god. Can it just last it for 20 more minutes, could you? Great. The death stay ain't over. Better change the epilogue. <laughs> okay, Corvo will get some instant revenge on the entire group for what we just did to Beast. This guy, I should really go and chase and kill, but man, I just do not believe that we lost one more person before we, uh, we get played out, as it were, by myself in a bit. How silly. It was quite low, yeah, it's quite a low chance as well. It's like a one in one in three shot, and then they rolled an eighteen. So it was quite, it was quite a low chance. Real damn shame about it. Real damn shame about it. Big hairy beast has been paramount in our entire adventure, and the fact that we have to say goodbye to him now instead of saying goodbye to him a bit later on is very sad. But at least he survived up to this point, I guess. That's a small victory thing. I mean, I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not really seeing it as a small victory thing right now. I'm just very annoyed. I think you can tell. Right, down goes another one. Right, you're not, you're not escaping, buddy. Can I, oh, can I whip him for good measure? Hmm. The rest of them are running now. We're going to have to, unfortunately, pick up the pieces for Big Hairy Beast, who will, we will have to put his name on a plaque in the middle of Newick for the last person who possibly died. I'm saying possibly because I don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring. We are making Newark Likers again, whether we have to sacrifice quite a bit to do that or not. At least the wages will be cheaper. <laughs> That's not a good thing to think about. Get out of here. We're done. I was only delivering a package, mate. Like, he has survived much worse. Oh, mate, as if. And, and also, he got shot to death, which I guess is kind of apt to say that he's been shooting people to death for a long time. 197 battles, 221 kills, 449 days. Roll for Citrine was the most powerful opponent he ever vanquished. Citrine King will get the last lap, I guess. But man, what an honor it has been to have you in this series. Unfortunately, you will not make it to the very end. So close. So goddamn close. Well, that was silly. All that, just because you wanted a, a chest thing for 1450 crowns? Where was the worth in that? Man, Newark Battle Likers after this. I just had to lose someone for it. Jesus Christ. On a plus side, our money situation and food situation has stabilized a bit, so that's nice. Let's get back onto Newick. How are they feeling now? Ooh, neutral. Neutral. I'm seeing a neutral. They better have some more contracts spawn whilst I walk back over there, or there'll be a price to pay, i.e. my contract fees. Specifically, my contract fees. Does anyone level up? Some people do will level up, at least in the last episode. 140, pretty good. 84, pretty good. What do we have in total? 121. Not the highest resolve I think we've ever seen, but still not bad. Still probably will go on a leaderboard for one of the best resolves we've seen. I still think... Actually, I don't know. Maybe someone out there will know. Maybe one of their characters was the one who had the highest resolve in every series we've ever had. I kind of try and keep track with those little sort of things and those like little data points because I do like that sort of analysis with like data, as it were. Probably comes with my job. Um, but I don't know the exact data points to that sort of thing. Would be interesting if anyone out there does know little things like that. Right, there is a contract here. It is a noble-based contract, so I don't think it will impact Newick, but there are no other contracts here for the time being. And I guess getting Shkonake Sh Sh back in our good graces is probably not a bad thing. Okay, so in a really ridiculous way, wa watch this. But it, it no longer comes up as an option to go into the village. I I have been locked out of Newark. I <laughs> you, you couldn't make this up. I was literally like, oh, I'll come out for a second and I'll maybe think about the uh, the battle. I, I can't get back in. Oh, mate. Right, okay, well, that's good. That's gone really well. Will it let me back into any village? Or am I now just... Or has the game got into a bug where I can't actually enter anything anymore? It's going to be really weird if that's the case, because then... 
We're kind of screwed. <laughs> Great. Absolutely fantastic. I can't believe we've done this. Look, Linus, deal with your witch problems for the time. One of these days, Linus. So I'm now locked out of all the villages. What do I do here? How am I dealing with this? Am I going to have to reload the save? Right, hang on. Let me see if I can fix this. I'll try my best, but if this is the case, I'm going to have to go and do, like, my own thing. So I reloaded an older save uh, pre that fight that we just did, and it's still not letting me into villages. So this is going to be a really fun epilogue episode, isn't it? This is so dumb. This is so dumb. I'm now a little bit at a loss. God, you are looking banged the F up. Maybe, I, I suppose, this episode probably was the right time to probably have the finale then, because the game is just broken to the point where I now can't enter any villagers, so I can't take on any contracts, so that's going well. On the plus side, we got Nuke back to neutral, so that's good. Uh, they're not, not friendly, but I, I can't do anything more about it. Like, I literally can't go into the village to do any more contracts for anyone, actually. I can't sell anything, I can't buy any food, I can't buy tools. I've literally just been forced to get put on hard mode by a bug. Um, so that's good. I'm... <laughs> Let me, right, give me, give me like two minutes to sort of like think about what I, what I can do here to sort of like fill out this a bit. I wonder if it's the same with like going to, so say like there's a Forsaken Hut here, which is close to Newick. So from my narrative perspective, this would be treacherous to Newick, so destroying it would be nice for them. But will it let me in or am I just like barred from all buildings now? I guess I'll go figure it out. Okay, so the good news is I can still get into locations. I'm kind of hoping that by doing this random location near Newick, and in which case we are actually helping them out because we're getting rid of this area, which is just around the corner from it, technically, narratively, uh, hopefully this resets the settlements and it lets me back in again. It's going to be a very sad like ending of an episode and, and series where it's like, nope, sorry, you can't come in here. <laughs> no scrotums. It's like, but why can't... But you've let Scrotum in, and it's like it says, no Scrotums. Yes, the old Simpsons joke. Anyway, it is nighttime. I did do a bit of recovering and resting because we were pretty damaged in terms of our armor, generally speaking, just from all the fights today, and still technically recovering from the episode before. Um, this should be pretty straightforward. The, the Arrow is Orc Young. It will be quite nice just to rip through them and to give the, uh, the old Scrotums a bit of a break. Wouldn't that be lovely? Because they do get sore after you ride them for a while. Oh, God, I, I, I'm really going to miss the whip. I'm really going to miss it. Yeah, <laughs> secretly what I'm saying is, next time as a series, if someone wants to get in as quickly as possible, make a whip-based character, and I'll be like, ah, Kimor, it brings me back. So, there you go, just saying. <laughs> Not that I'm saying that really, but maybe I am saying that really. Guess we'll see, eh? Uh, let's just go on the old Fury, why not? Let's just murk them. As the saying goes... Brian, officially murk -ing, and then unfortunately getting stunned, but that's all right. Caitlin, at least we get to see her one more time before we are done. I think we probably will still do a, a few more fights here and there today. It is just going to depend on um, how, how much we can do. It's going to depend on what the game decides to let us do. Maybe it's just gone like, all right, your time's up, off the rides, out of the, out of the gene pool, as uh, I usually say. But in this case, they're just like, it's time to get off Battle Brothers Legends and PTR's Wild Ride. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Keep it going. Right in the head. Up we go. And then hop on in. Get ready for right between the eyes. God, I'm going to miss that as well. I say miss it. It's not like it's not going to be in the next run. Unless they've changed the, the perk in that tree so it doesn't appear anymore. But ugh, no idea. Uh, it is on something like, I think I'm using like 14.1. 1.0 or something and it's now on like 14.2.7 or something something crazy like that so there has been a heck load of updates to at least legends since we started playing this series so it'll be really interesting to see what all the updates bring next time although to be frank and not ready to give anything away um i do kind of want to maybe try out some different mods maybe next time and maybe just do a bit of a mod checkout? Well, we'll see. We'll see. The world is our Battle Brothers oyster, Northerners. We'll do what we can with it. Okay, look, you've tried to stun Hursty like so many times now. You've dazed him. Get over it. You can't stun the EG Rock man. Man. But, yeah, cool. If you want to try it, feel free to try it. Fill your boots. There's a good shot. Who says he can't see in the dark? Man, Elias is crazy. I'm really disappointed that that mask hasn't really done that much in the end. Like, it's, it's done it some stuff here and there. 
but generally speaking, eh, I could have probably put it on someone who was like more in the forefront. But honestly, like for what it's based off, I don't think it would have worked that well anyway. It's fine. It was nice to try it. It's creepy as all hell. And it was cool to say that we actually managed to fight some Alps, which we usually kind of avoid, although we were kind of forced into it this time. But we still did it. We still did it. Although, man, was it kind of brutal. But apparently the, um, the Alp, the Demon Alp, or whatever it's called, did kind of bug out, allegedly. So it didn't do as much damage as it should have done, so we kind of lucked out. Whip. Whip again! Whip and whip again, baby! Right, uh, let's see. Throw it. I'll take it. How much can you destroy? Everything. Right, let them let have it with the pointy end. That's not the pointy end. Well, technically it is. Oh, that was almost a triple decap in the last episode. One of that being Summit. Well, Miasmic will get a kill. <laughs> I'll take it right to the bank. There we go. Ah, oh, they're all running. Well, sayonara, buttholes. At least we dealt with you. You wanna do some cheeky stabbing? I don't know if there's anything cheeky about that, but two orcs just got absolutely dropped by Corvo. Man, if only Slappy was here to see this. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud of his knife-wielding brethren. I believe he would be. That's another one for Brian. This, this episode is basically just who can get their kill count up to the highest. And what is, what is the kill count actually going to end on? Because that's going to be quite an interesting take. There are like, what, three people who could be like the creme de la creme top, top scrotum, biggest sack. I guess we'll see. Oh, they're all running now. I guess we'll see how uh, it stacks up. We've still got a little bit in us, after all. God damn. I feel like I'm getting more whip kills in this episode than any other episode in quite a long time. I don't know if it's just because I said it. Well... With a thing, let's see if you get a kill. He will! Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so there's one more orc here. Might be able to shoot him. I will, but he's still kicking it. We do not like it when they're still kicking it. I really wish I found this hood like earlier in the series as well. It's very on brand. It's a shame that it took us this long to find it. There we go. And they're running. Right, clean up on aisle whatever this is. No, no. Like I say. Try and get as many kills as you can. I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to do it. For a second, I thought the dog was going to get a second kill. I really did. Uh, you stay over there. You're, you're hemorrhaging out, on, out of your head a little bit, but you're fine. You're just fine. A doctor would say that's A-OK. -okay. Well, maybe not a good doctor. Okay. Can you get there? Caitlyn will almost get another kill onto the leaderboard before the end, but not quite. Are you going to get another one? It's so close. That would have been hilarious if that was the case. Okay, in that case, Heinrich is going to get another one all lined up for him. I think you guys were a bit too... I don't want to I don't want to thread the needle for 12%. I'm good. Well, on the plus side, Linus will clean up. How many whip kills did I just get? Three. I mean, to be fair, Orc Young don't really wear clothes. It's kind of on them. Okay. Not what I was, I, I was planning, but... Let me try and walk back to Newark now and see if they'll let us back in. Don't shut the gates, mate. Let me in. Oh, we're back. We're back. They've gone, you know what? You killed some orcs for us. Come on. You can come back in. I'm like, thanks. Okay, so we've got the battle here. So that will help against the house, but it won't help against Newark, I don't think. Where's this bad boy going? Barbarish. It's a bit of a walk, but honestly, this is going to impact... Also, it's not a lot of money, but this will impact... Um, how Newick actually sees us. So I'm going to accept this. And then, yes, I'll sidle all the way back up here and then take this. Although that's not really going to impact how Newick perceives us. But that's... That's okay. Also, Newick has, like, no food. Like, not even, like, a sniffle of food. It's almost not worth it selling it, but honestly, I'm just going to... I'm just going to try and dump this stuff off now just to keep us going. At least we're back in the double digits, which is a really weird thing to be like, oh, man, thank God for that. <laughs> When did we get to this stage? Honestly, why did I start blowing money through and just letting people camp and train? Which, which was good, but yeah, maybe we could have like figured out a bit better. Well, whatever. Get a wriggle on. Go away. Not interested, right? I will tune back in in a second. See you in a second. Why? Why you like this? Hang on. Belong to House Skanaik, but aren't I helping? Uh, how? Uh, wh what? What? Honestly, this game just wants to kill us today. 
Like, every time I'm doing, like, a regular mission, it's like, we're gonna murder you? And I'm like, thanks? I'm just trying to help out Newick. Newick is working under you guys. Like, by doing this to us, you are screwing over Newick and Barbarish, which is also a settlement in your zone. Are you that stupid? Think, nobles. Think. All right, well, if you don't get your, like, assortment of cheese by tomorrow and get pissy with someone, remember that you are the ones who killed the people who are delivering the goddamn cheese. Idiots. Fools. Are you going to die for cheese? Well, I suppose it depends on the cheese, really. I, I would also have to confirm what cheese it was before I laid down, laid down my life for it, you know? There are levels of what counts as a good cheese. I'm not going to say any of them, because I don't want to start a fight in the comments in the last series about fucking cheese. So let me just leave this. Let's move on very quickly. Get some. There we go. Uh, eh, whipping dogs isn't quite my... Uh, once again, whips are cool, but maybe not to do that. <laughs> like, look, guys, come on. I haven't fought nobles in a while, but you're not exactly the worst thing in the world these days. I don't think you are. You might have gone a bit better. Who knows? I guess we're about to find out one way or another, as the song goes. Let's go into Dodge. Come on. Come on over then. I ain't got all day. This is literally... I'm getting paid so little for this contract. It's just to make Newick feel better. But now I've got an inkling that because we're fighting against Hash and Egg, they're going to hate us, which might make Newick hate us, which will be so dumb if that's the case. So dumb. Or Newick will be like... Yeah, you're all right, you guys. And we'll be like, yeah, we literally came from here. Do you not remember us? Um, We'll see. We will see. And they'll be like, oh, we don't like the house anymore, but we sure like you guys. And I'd be like, thanks. As you should. Okay. Unfortunately, the dogs have been destroyed. Not killed. Destroyed. Hey, don't be getting happy about stuff. Linus, just run for it. You could have gone for his head. It's big enough to hit. I mean, I think so. It's massive. See? Hilmer agrees. Get down on it. Oh, apparently not. Alright, keep swinging Brian in until he's actually just fully in. Miss me with that shit, literally. Alright. Look, five of your people have died for confectionery goods, which aren't going to get delivered to your settlements if you act keep acting like dickheads. I've given you your warning. But if you're going to keep trying it on, then so be it. Everything that happens now is on you guys. Just saying. Well, I mean, the caravan guys might die, but that's not really my uh, problem, if I'm being quite honest. That was a lot of 70 miss that was a lot of 75 misses. At least you hit one of them. That's all right on the night. Billman gets... Oh, he almost gets his mustache shot straight off his face. Which would have been hilarious if actually animated. Surprise it's not. See ya, dickhead. Can I just do this? That should be alright. Too scared to come fight Lysandra. Yeah, I get it. Don't worry. I mean, she's gone She's gone down a lot, but she keeps getting back up. You literally can't keep her down. As Tub as Thumping would suggest. Not that that song is made about her. That'd be weird to say that, that song's quite old. Hey guys, wear helmets. Oh, triple kill for Elias in the last episode. You love to see it. Elias? Might be the one for it. Who knows? Not I. Not yet, anyway. I haven't tallied the old scoreboard. Get... Um, this one. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It's very undecided on that one. Every kill we get now is for Big Hairy Beast. Not that the nobles actually killed Big Hairy Beast. It was a, a group of ridiculous... Well... I don't know if they really were nobles. They were more like mercs, weren't they? Well, there goes the uh, the random caravan guard who thought he could give him a give him a good hand and a good go. Which, to be fair to him, tried better than most caravan guards. So I have to give him some props. You can stop with that shit. Get out of here. Way in, way in. How are you? Don't. F there we go. Right. Let me go. Am I stuck? Like here? Let me go there. God, he smashed his eye straight out. Not that he's going to need it in a second. He's going to bleed out. He should bleed out. 285 whiffs. Don't you worry about it. Good old Dazeroni. Bonk. Bonk. I mean, I think I'm just trying to get Miasmic kills now. Not that she really needs them. I just think it'd be quite funny. Can I throw anything? 
Oh. I mean, his head is pretty massive. Or should I say his helmet's pretty massive? Not that helmet. Hi! Slap! Close. Oh, the lucky's still alive. Not that one. Ooh. Oh, man. Corvo has really become Johnny, Johnny Dodgers a lot now. Really come into his own by the end of the series, which is great to see. You love, you love to see it. I just wouldn't mind one, like, escort mission or one, like, take this package mission where we don't get attacked by a group of idiots who are probably just irked because they're missing their cheese delivery. That was 360 misses. Very unfortunate. But then again, man, the warden rolled a three, so I'll take the 350 misses, 60 misses, just for that alone. Can I go there and shoot this guy? Can I ever? Good. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Are any of you guys kind of close? <sighs> yes. With his eyes, he doesn't need those. Where am I, and where am I shooting? Now. Yeah, get turned. And now. Release. I don't know what you tried to do. Nothing good, evidently. Idiots. Taste lightning, fucker. Okay, next. Goodbye. Oh, you're still there. He's not. You might have lived, but your friend definitely didn't. How does that make you feel? Bad? Good. Ow. Oh, it's like a big kahuna. Sir Quentin. The cheese connoisseur, they call him. But don't call him that. Well, Sir Quentin. Time for you to get some. Not cheese. Why have I turned this into a cheese-based episode? Anyway, let's move on. Hi. Yep, good luck with that. Bonk. And then slice, slice, man. Their armor is now non-existent. Nice one. Man, Steve's really changed his, turned his life around when you think about it. He was just like some random slave guy that we found. And unfortunately, it's a shame that Furman isn't also here to uh, be the throwing, you know, champs together, as it were. He went out swinging, at least. He went out swinging. Steve will just have to do... Well, he has been pulling double shifts ever since he started. Like he's got something to prove. Which I guess he doesn't, but... Wait, I'm... Back off. I'm speaking nicely about someone. Don't try and hit me with a hammer whilst I'm doing that. Goodbye. God, hell must take names. Right, that, caught, that made up for all the misses we were getting, so that's good. Alright, time to clean, clean up these idiots. What were you guys thinking? Honestly, what were you thinking? Sounds like I'm starting a football champ, but I'm not really. Oh, <laughs> whipping him as well. Oh, dear. Another one for Brian. God damn that mace. I'm glad I bought it. I am glad I bought it. Oh, almost one for Elmer. You're going to try and get away. Fly into the bitter end, I at least have to respect a bit. But, conversely... Oh, Quentin. I think his ear just got ripped off by Eric, and he's bleeding out so much he's probably going to go down next turn. I would surmise. I assume I'm not shooting this guy. He's way too far away. Yes. Saying that. Might as well use the dog while we can. Can you imagine if a dog gets loads of kills this episode? That'd be amazing. Shoot him! Bye. That one's mine. Bonk. And that one's Hursties. Ah, oh, Linus. Very close. Very, 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 very close. Right, lined up for execution. Nice. Ah, oh, Hein- Heinrich- Heinrich's really in the second half. I mean, he wasn't in it for that much of it anyway. But Heinrich's really turned it around in the last few episodes. He's gone like full ham. Like full metal jacket. Or full metal mace, I guess. Right, seal this guy off, will you? Send him into the annals of history. The annals of history sounds terrifying. Come on, kill him. Just stop toying with him. Just kill him. <laughs> I mean, and then I hit him with a whip. That's kind of like toying. That's kind of like going against what I just said. Well, whatever. Somebody seal the deal, please. Anybody? It could be anyone. All anyone. Cora? No. Linus. No, not Linus. Andrew. I see a cleaver, and it just. I'm just like, ah, Linus. No, it's it's Andrew. Nice one. We're gonna see more level ups. Let me grab all this crap. Okay, what did that do to our reputation? Probably nothing good. 
Yeah, saw that coming. So, Newick is cold, but that's because we got left in the weeds a bit. The hey, look. They attacked me, alright? They attacked me. I can't believe how much I'm getting screwed by this game just trying to help out Newick. And instead... And instead... I swear to God, right? Well, at least I can come in here still and get some supplies. Let me sell some stuff, and then I'm going to get some food, I guess. And then I'm going to go back to Newick in the hopes that there's something else there. Because we're not taking on those noble contracts anymore, because they hate us. And it's not our fault that they hate us, it's their own fault that they hate us. Nobles, they'll never learn. You think they've turned the corner, and then they just go back to killing each other once again. Alright, back to Newick. On the plus side, even though they're hostile, Newick is not hostile. So that's nice. Has it gone back to neutral again? We're back to neutral. Okay. At least they don't hate us for protecting their goods. That'd be ridiculous if they just suddenly hated us because the house hated us. But then we were doing it to help them. So that would have been very bizarre. Hopefully, let's see what, what more spawns. I'm still really annoyed that Big Harry Beast died. It's not his fault. It was not his fault. There was a 1 in 3 chance that it just so happened to happen. That's Battle Brothers, baby. Give me some stuff. Hmm. Are you actually going to still let me do this, even though you hate me? That's kind of weird. I'm going to camp for a day and see what happens. But I'm going to camp a bit further away from the city center so I don't get rumbled by that group constantly. That sounds safe. Uh, who hunts clams? How do you hunt clams? They don't move that much. Is that how bad we are at hunting? We think that doing... Thirsty. Thirsty. Buddy. You've literally fought gods when you're drunk. Don't eat the poison apples that the witch gave you. Ah, <sighs> yeah, you know, you know what, you know what, just... Why is everyone becoming? Everyone is becoming a glutton by the end of this. Do, do not become the people that we fight against. That's all I'm saying. Am I going to put him into take him to the hospital now? Is he going to be all right? Bloody idiot. God, level 18. It'll also be very interesting to see who gets to the highest level as this uh, series run goes out and finishes. I think 18 is probably going to be quite up there, I, I would I would surmise. I mean, sure, you can have a perk. Why not? Uh, as to what perk, eh. I mean, fatigue recovery is pretty good. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. Sure, why not? Heinrich gains level 10. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Really shame that we didn't see that um, potential game recognized. It is a shame. I might as well just get this one as well. So it is 18 highest. Yes? I want to say yes. 17. Yep. 18. 18 is the highest. Nice. Probably the highest it's been in like a series in a long time. Right. Let me continue camping. Let me give it a day. And then I'll head on back to Newick in hopes that there is some more contracts. But... Man, it's been a bit of a loophole rolling around of <laughs> a buggy mess today, but we managed, and that's the important part. Okay, how ill are you? We'll heal in one to two days. Bloody hell. You think you can regenerate your blood, but you can't regenerate your, like, immune system. Pathetic. Okay, back to Newark. Please give me something. Hmm. I feel like if I do this, they're going to kill me. If I, if I, like, walk over and be like, yeah, I'll go and help them, and then as soon as I get there, they'll be like, oh, it's you guys. We're hostile to you. I'm going to kill you now. Maybe? Maybe. <sighs> this kind of sucks, doesn't it? I'll give it one more day. One more day. And then I guess I will have to take it and see what happens. What are you doing, you madman? Is... <sighs> are you at least cured from being sick? What is... Why are you suddenly so accident prone? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, wait. You're drunk all the time. Okay, let's walk on over. Let's see what's happened. It's been like a day and a bit. Let's hope that something comes from it. Oh, it is. Oh, really? Please don't be... Webnex. Please don't be Webnex. Please don't be Webnex. Go on, then. This is not really how I foresee this episode kind of going. 22 diewolves, is it? That's cute. But uh, it's fine. Okay, well, at least you regenerate your hand pretty quickly. But that's kind of a given to say that you regenerate your health. So that sounds like it would make sense. Uh, how you doing, bud? You're better. All right, come on, walls. Let's speed this up. Why is everyone so unhappy? I didn't do anything wrong, did I? Why are you all very unhappy? Why are you all very unhappy? Why are you all very unhappy? No reason. You're just not really feeling it. All right. Fair enough. Let's wait for the scum. Let's do this fight really, really quickly because this is going to have, like, no consequences whatsoever other than the fact that, obviously, Newick will like us a bit more for killing all these wolves. Give us some more contracts, man. We're trying to rebuild the town. Or the town's trust in us. Oh, it's even just some standard dire wolves. Fair play. Oh, this is perfect. Whipping territory. I think. That was running. Not feeling it, buddy. Fair enough. 
In that case, let's just get going. Rage modes. Bonk. How close can you get? Yeah, close enough. Can you get there and attack? Nah, there's not really much point in this, though. Right, let's just wait for them to come and ru I say rumble us. They're not really going to rumble us, are they? Do forget how insane some of our defenses are to say that they're all, all still getting only like a chance of five to hit a lot of us. Don't even know now is a chance of 24. But every chance to go against like Lysandra, Drisk, uh, as well as like Heinrich, and also Schmidt, it's like a roll of five. But also, they're just wolves, so, you know. We're not white die wolves. God, 22, 22, 23 right white die wolves. That'd be quite something, wouldn't it? I don't even know how to react. I wouldn't even know how to react to that one. Probably, probably badly. I'd probably react pretty badly, to be honest. I think anyone would, really. There goes another one. That's another one for, for our Brian. What a life he has had, our Brian. I believe he has done good to his name sake. I'd like to think so. There's whipping time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, there we go. That's a decent start enough. Not really getting... I mean, it's tuck in there, I guess. I was expecting it to go like this way as well, but... Eh, semantics. It's fine. Come on, Miasmic. Get some kills. Not quite. Not quite. Another one bites for dust. Or rust. Ah, rust. And there goes another one. Okay, yeah, this is... Sheesh. Okay, Linus is taking no prisoners. He's also got a triple kill in the final episode. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Hey, quit it. Quit it. You've been told once. Of course, you then just hit Sky Splitter. God damn it. Ah, oh dear. That boy. I mean, he's still living. He's still very much alive. He's outlived any other green skin that we've met, so... You could say that he's the best green skin around. Technically. Technically. There's the whip. There's the whip again. God damn. I think Kimo's is going to go up by quite a bit, now I think about it. I mean, it has to, right? Point blank him. Very good. Very, very good, that point blank. Leave them to come in. Also, great retro game. Point blank. Good two-player game. It used to be able to play on the PlayStation and also in the arcades. Don't really see anything about that these days anymore. I almost forgot it existed. Until I literally just said point blank right then. Ah, the PS1 light guns. What a faff they were. Oh. Oh. Finish that one. Thank you. Uh, I won't worry about that. Come in here. That one's gonna get wiped. That one's also running, so fine. I was about to say, hang on, how many kills has Linus got here? Oh, that was a great shot. Great shot, man. Alright, let him run. We're done here. Once again, pretty flawless, but wasn't expecting anything wild. Oh, heh. <laughs> well, too wild. You get it. Ah, oh, nice! That was a good old roll, roll for that one. Right, somebody just wipe that one. And we can go and actually maybe do like, I don't know, maybe one more thing. Maybe two more things. I'll see I'll see if I can just like speed through a lot of stuff. Just so we can enjoy our time a little bit more. But I do also have to do like the outro and all that jazz. So, I would say I, at least this episode, I was aiming for a flawless episode with no deaths. But, um, well, we know. We know. And there we go. Right. End the rounds. Let the other two cheese it. We're not really interested in them. Tell your friends, but also tell them not to come back to... Newick, please. Schmidt will level up before the end of the series. Very cool. Very good. Good for him. I don't know what level he's at currently. Let me have a quick Luke. 16. Very nice. Not quite 18, but still pretty high overall. Let me quickly just nip back here. Please say it makes a massive difference. I mean, it probably would make a massive difference, but it'll make a difference. Uh, once again, no contracts. I feel like I'm just at the mercy of the people who live here at the moment. Uh, sell all those. I don't really care how much they're worth. They're just worth something. I mean, all this money is just going to go back into helping Newick anyway when we retire, so it is what it is. Really? I'm literally trying to help out your citizens, and you're coming to attack me. Pick a side, bro. Okay, I'm going to have to move away, and then I'm going to circle back around to Newick to see if there's any new contracts. <sighs> the sheer goal of these people, honestly. Why am I even helping them? Well, I mean, I guess it's because we're from here. 
But it doesn't mean you have to love the place that you're from, especially if it's as fucked as this. Right. I guess I'm going to go do a loop, and I'll be back in a second. God, I'm I'm going to live in, like, the mountains near Newark, like some sort of, like, crazed hermit. Or group of crazed hermits, I guess, just so we don't attack us. Jeez Louise, could you spawn some more contracts, please? Please? Well, 30%, that's probably the highest it's been in, like, forever. Usually goes to, like, 1%, because they're absolutely useless as ours, right? It would have been nice to have seen them upgrade themselves, but the sheer amount of, like, wealth that they lose just from, like, random events around the world, it kind of makes it really difficult to do. Okay, absolutely nothing is spawning at Newark. I think I'm going to give it, like, let's say two days, three days. Let's say four, four, let's say four, seven, seven, because we don't have exactly, like, all the money in the world. And then I'll see if another contract has appeared, because this is going to keep... Well, it'll kind of... It'll normalize to neutral, but it'll stay in, like, the middle of neutral. But if nothing's going to spawn, then our, like, reputation with them is only going to get worse. And also, we don't exactly have all the money in the world anymore. We've got about a week's worth, so... I'll try my best to make another contract spawn out of nowhere, but we'll go from there. Oh, and just before the very, 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 very end of the series, uh... Kimo might be expecting children. <laughs> Or he's just whipping them. Not children. That's weird. Oh, well, th thanks to uh, Kimor's, let's say, experience, uh, we're now open. <laughs> Apparently, they're like, oh, you want to set down your roots here? Because I guess Kimor's technically not from here originally, but he will be at this point. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, funny enough, we got, well, we're supposed to be waiting around for so long, Heinrich actually passed his, uh, passed his training, and now he has iron lungs, which is great, but unfortunately, it's not really going to make much of a difference now. But it's still, you know, it's still pretty great, so congratulations. Good job on that. Let me give you brawny. Damn, that fatigue. God damn. Okay, back here. So I haven't really given anyone but duck beak mask, but I'm not really that interested with it anymore, to be honest. Thank you. Jeez, Louise Christ. Okay, where am I going? What am I doing? Click it. Click I accept. You've been waiting for this the entire time, you idiot. Where am I going? West, is it? Go west, my boy. Over the river. Man, they really swam. Oh, they're so fast. Right. I'm going to go catch these idiots. Okay, I was trying to wait until daytime, but they keep running away from me, so I guess I will go and attack them now. Oh, no, you're going back to the shoreline? Make up your goddamn minds. This is a mixed start, but I'll honestly, I'll take it. This, uh... Don't you be... Cool. Good start. <laughs> uh, why is it in every series someone always gets set on fire constantly? I'd say it's like a random thing, but it really isn't. <laughs> There's one. Uh, 40's not great. 87? Is that 67? 67. Even more impressive. Yeah. Nice. And there drops another one. Right, come on. I need to convince you guys to come and run at me. Come on, come and run at me. Come on, I dare you. I double dare you. Alright, you kind of stuck that one on the chin. Fair enough. Where are you when are you still on fire? You're not on fire, you're okay. It's everyone else who's on fire. It's only, it's only two of them. It's only two of them. Weirdly enough, get in a hole. It might actually tempt them to come and fight us if we do that. Maybe? We'll see. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just not mess around anymore. Let's just go. Schmidt, lead the way that way. That's fine. Corvo, you're on fire. Don't worry about it. Not in a good way either, but not in a particularly bad way. I think you're fine. Please stop. He's, he's, he's going to get cooked. He's going to flambe my colonel. What is this? Okay, no, it's not funny anymore. Please stop. It's probably my least favorite ability in Legends and PTR. I think it's PTR. Sorry, I think it's Legends. It's not PTR. I could be wrong, though. It's just so unnecessary. Unnecessary. Get out of here. He's actually getting cooked. He's getting, we're barbecuing Yun in the final episode. I don't know what to say. Sacred Blur. Yeah, you know, just, just, a, just a bit of casual evisceration. I'd be quite happy with that. I think so. All right. Someone didn't get the memo. You wanna try and try again? It well it it here, just not Christian Christian the Swindler. Yeah, you could say that about the whole religion, couldn't you? Well hey, got him. <laughs> Fire. Oh, right through the skull. You you go back. You stop getting cooked, buddy. But your goose will get cooked if you're not careful. Let's get in here. This is a little bit, this fight is a little bit sillier than I was planning, but I think I've said that about every single fight this episode, but, you know, 
It's kind of how finales go, isn't it? It's never what you expect. Johnny Swindler, you coming in? No, not quite. Why is... Why, why have you got that thing above your head? Like... That's kind of weird. Like, you're not even a... Oh, damn. That was good. Oh, is it because there's someone... Oh, it's showing there's someone... I was like, that's kind of weird. But it's because there's someone down there. It just didn't look like it. God damn, he rolled me. Couldn't just have a simple episode, could we? Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Just kill some regular, regular Joes. Clock in, clock out. You know, the regular stuff. Nah. I thought you were going to shoot Corvo. I honestly did. May, come on. I said you were doing amazing earlier. Don't go back about now. I can't hit this guy. I didn't even see this guy. Like, secret commando, man. There we go. Bit better. Alright, where is this Christian Swindler going? There's the lightning. It's very, very frightening. Alright, whip the butcher in shape. Impressive, he's still alive, actually. Okay, well, not for long. I, I assume not for long. Alright, he's bleeding out of every orifice he knows of. You're getting smacked in the head. You're taking five because you're on fire. Not in a good way. Hello. Right, we're in. Let's go. Good old bonk. Uh, where are we at with this? So, this guy's screwed six ways to Sunday. You're on the way out as well. Call though, take five. Let's seal this off. Don't do it. Don't even think or consider it. No. Still, to be fair, he got away. Fair play. I mean, I expected him to at least try and fight, but it's going to be a no from him, apparently. The, I assume, yes, it's down there. I was like, you've got to be in that hole, right? Otherwise, I can't see shit. Yep. Love it. I love it so much. Shame that you've got to play most of the game to actually get it. Well, I say most of it. You can probably finagle it a bit. Another kill for Heinrich to seal the deal. Another kill for Brian. Almost an, almost two. Another one for Kimor. Jesus Christ. The whip. Another one for Elmer. Come on, Elian, what have you got for me? A headshot. Very nice. Eviscerate that guy, please. Chill out there. You probably still smell like long pig. So close. Right, go that way. Can I throw... A I mean, there's a tree in the way. Yeah, I think that'll stop you, unfortunately. Oh, well. Alright, you guys chase that guy to the ends of the earth. You deal with that. This swindler now is just running. Classic swindling moves. I think we're good here. Oh. Schmidt will show him what for. And what a what for that is. Oh, you actually still... He actually come up to f I think he's lost his mind. The man, he's lost his mind. Or maybe that's his tactic to make us think he's lost his mind. The one for Brian. Oh, God, Kimor killed him. Seriously, man, how many kills have you got this episode alone? It's crazy. I guess I'm not shooting this guy from all the way over here. Okay, well. I don't know why he came back for a fight and then proceeded not to fight, just dance a bit, but... That's his prerogative. And my prerogative is to kill him as quickly as possible. So, Sky Splitter, maybe for the last time. Are you actually close to him? Yeah. Split the sky? Split the sky, indeed. Okay, Colonel's got a bit of a cut cheek, probably from when they were trying to add all the seasoning to his body when he put him on the fire. L got shot a bit, Heinrich got shot a bit. That's fine. Grab all that stuff, let's get back to Newark. What is that going to do to all the old reputation? No, 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 no. We, we, we paid it. We paid it. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. That will screw us if we do this. The game is trying to tempt me. I am not taking the bait. All right. Where are we at? Friendly. Nice. Let me just have one last check. What day are we on? 477. Okay, as sad as it is for me to say, that's probably around the hour-ish mark. We have got Newick back to friendly, even though every single thing and its dog tried to stop us at every single turn this episode, including bugs which I never knew even existed in the game, just decided to rear their ugly heads in this episode alone. Ridiculous. But I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave it there.
I think that's going to be the last contract we ever do as the mighty Scrotums, the peasant militia. But let's go over a few things quickly just before we sort of call it a day on this series. God, it's a real shame that we lost someone in this last episode. Let's have a quick look at the obituary just to be really sad about everything. Unfortunately, just to be sad for the fact that Big Hairy Beast gets added there at the very, very end. Look, about 24 people have fallen since we've started. That's really not bad in the grand scheme of things. Regina Engelberg and Edward were just random characters as well. So really, it's 21 characters who have fallen. So I'd say that's pretty good going. I mean, obviously, there was also someone who deserted us um, because they tried to kill someone in the night, which was absolutely ridiculous. There he is, Tempest of a Shadow. At least he got two kills. I mean, it could have been three if you almost killed one of our guys. Um... Yeah, you can see there's like quite a bit of a difference and quite a gap after a certain point. But yes, you will be joining the group down here. Man, there's so many good characters that we've, we've missed. Like, one of the best ranged people, one of the best throwers. Barney was great with the spear. Arthur was an amazing up-and-comer. Captain was lucky, but his luck ran out. Wayne was as ugly as he's always been. Jacob was a great addition. Rogar was great with his great instances with his hand and losing his hand and then regaining his hand. And then technically losing it again when he died. Slappy, his potential not realized, but his potential always recognized for us. You can get in the bin. Rex, my best tax collector in the world. Boris, a great axe, axe man. Mad Jack, great spade user, great shovel user. Just a shame that the, the famed ones only started appearing near the very end. Kimbo, a great mix of basically all the weapons, really. And then Conrad, Billy, Hamo, man, Hamo. What a ridiculous character he was. Seeing Rat 2 is very nice as well. And then, unfortunately, we didn't really get to see much of Nathan the Godslayer. He died too soon. But then Morin and Visenhorge were great starters to get us on the way. If it weren't for the foundations that they set when they died, we wouldn't have got as far as we did. And that's a way that I'm going to take from the obituary. I'm quite surprised I remember all those characters and all the, like, groups and classes and abilities and weapons they were using. Jesus. But... Let's get on with the final roll call of the series. Let's see who did get the best of all the kills for the entire series. Now, obviously, it's going to boil down to quite a few people, but I think it will be nice just to see everyone anyway. And then we're going to call it a day. We're going to fade to black. And then post-credit Northern will have a few things to say for you. Yes, don't worry. Like every single series, we do have a little like slide reel of the entire series with some great music. That's a given. But... There are a few extra bits that, to watch out for in the epilogue bits, as well as maybe something at the very end. So keep your weather eyes on that. But let's go on with a roll call for the final time. So Sky Splitter, you're on 141 kills. Best Vanquished Foe was an Orc Elite, not bad. Duchess Cora, 206 kills. Brock Mad Eyes was your most powerful opponent. Hursty, 142 kills. Obviously, the Edrock was the most powerful opponent you killed. The fact that you did the entire series with a pickaxe, man, I don't know what to say. Congratulations. Lysandra, 339 kills, a rock on hold. I mean, a rock on hold is quite something. 339, so that's the highest so far, right? Yes. Drisk, 120 kills, white direwolf, and it's quite a powerful opponent, and you will be holding the reproach of the old gods going out of this game. Congratulations. Brian, you joined us quite late, but you still got 39 kills. Master Archer's not bad. I feel like you've killed things higher than that, but hey, apparently that's what the game is telling you. But 39 kills for 144 days and 50 battles, not bad. Not bad at all. Corvo, 116 kills. Mad Einar, pretty decent. Linus, 233 kill, 213 kills. The first Linus character to get through an entire series without dying in the first two episodes. Congratulations. Arosha Skinner, pretty sure that was a big Orc Warlord. Schmidt, 146 kills, almost 147, the highest score you can get in Snooker. Shame we missed that bit. Gwadulf, the Ashen Prince. I mean, there's probably many, many Gwadulf light characters that you murked with the hammer. Shame we got that quite late, but at least we got to see a good one. Andrew, 99 kills. So close. You know what? Just for the sake of... Let's count the Law Keeper as two. So we can... Let's just call it 100. Let's be nice and call it 100. The Law Keeper kept spawning more and more enemies. So we'll call it 100. Let's be nice about it. Poker, 64 kills. White Direwolf, you've come in also quite late, so getting 64 kills. And the fact that your melee skill is actually bonkers. Kimor... Man, I don't even know what your kills were at the start of this episode, but the fact that you're on 138, I think you've probably killed, like, a solid double-digit group of people in this episode alone. Absolutely point of shift. Absolutely point of shift. And you've actually made me think twice about whips going forward. I think they're now great. So, 
Obviously, I'm going to do a whip build next series as well. Now, Chris Van Ward makes sense. The whip was made just for him. Yurton, here from the very start, if I can remember. Easy as one, two, three on that and killing 100 paces. That was a person, not just killing 100 paces in, like, a measurement? Miasmic, 61 kills. Greetown of a whistling death. The fact that you're just, like, you're more of a buffer and a debuffer. So, the fact that you got 61 kills is fantastic. I don't know if the warden kills count towards your kills. To this day, I'm still unsure. But I don't think they do. I think the 61 kills are you from hitting people or with the bladed mage staff. Oh man, the bladed mage staff. Absolutely amazing in the right hands. Elmer, 82 kills. Not bad for an old poacher, witch, hunter, person. Hex Coven leader as well. Getting killed for the power tool. Very, very apt. Helmer, 203 three kills. Raymond the Obsessed. 203 kills for... I think Helmer was here from pretty much the very beginning, although she is now converted to a cultist. So I guess we'll see how her and Eric get along post series oh boy is all i will say clad quite a late joiner 14 kills not an amazing on kill counts but you did level up incredibly fast and now i'd say you're a pretty good hybrid character it's just a shame that your potential was unfortunately not recognized but maybe one day we will see that working properly heinrich also sort of a late bloomer only 16 kills but man you've been putting in an absolute shift in the past few episodes and you survived and that's really important we'll only get to level 11 though damn shame l 148 one more than a high school score in snooker. Not bad. Backlob, once again, an Orc Warlord. Great performance overall. Here we go. Here comes the big numbers. Elias, 369 kills. I find it hard to believe that a powerful opponent you vanquished was a Hex Coven leader. I think it should be way higher than that. 369, what's yours? There's a 31, there's a 30 variance. God damn, let's keep going. Wait for it. Eric, for 362. Ah, oh, May, I'm very sorry. I mean, the Rasha guy to be the most powerful opponent you've vanquished is quite something. But I think Elias has done it. Let's get to the end, though. Caitlyn, 25 kills. Master Archie, you've only been here for a very short amount of time as well, so I would take that as a big win. Good job. Steve, you've had such a turnaround from being basically a slave in the South to being a recognized and respected member of the Scrotums and a throwing champ and pretty hybridized, honestly. I do forget that you actually are... Quite, quite a good hybrid. 84 kills, Embalm Noble. That's very fair. Embalm Noble's an absolute bastard to deal with. And Bolendrin, 326 kills. Karosh Urgat, another Orc Warlord. Man, we've killed a lot of Orc Warlords, haven't we? But 326 is unfortunately not going to clinch it. So you're going to come fourth, I believe. Lysandra's going to come third with 339. Eric's going to come second with 362. Still a massive gap. But Elias the Fallen will take it with 369 kills. If there's anyone out there who loves doing maths, feel free to count all the kills together so we can get an overarching amount of how many, not only these guys killed, but also how many people we've killed overall, including the people in the obituary. Feel free to give me a number if you like. I'm not gonna work it out. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you guys, but if someone out there wants to, you're more than welcome to. But I guess that's it. It's always weird finishing like a series of Battle Brothers, if I'm honest. At least uh, it didn't bug out that much, so at least we got to the very end. But, as always, thank you everyone who got involved with the series and who got involved as a character with the Scrotums, and who also just, like, tagged along and has been watching since the very beginning. I hope you have really enjoyed this series as much as I have. Apologies, it took a bit longer to finish this series back-to-back, because -back, I did start feeling a bit of fatigue from playing the game. Sounds kind of ridiculous when you play like that. How can you be fatigued from playing the same game? You do get really tired from playing the same game over and over, especially after you put the hours into a game like I have with Battle Brothers. It's... it's, it's Creeping up to 2,000 hours now. I know a lot of people more out there, but you know, it is that game for me, as it were. But that will not stop us from continuing more Battle Brothers content in the future. As always, now I'm probably going to take a bit of a small break from playing Battle Brothers and focus on other games on the channel for the time being. But we will focus on games that are kind of similar and in the same wheelhouse. Similar to the games that we're still trying out right now, like War Tales and Crown, Crown Wars. And bringing out back World of Myth here and there, as well as maybe a few other games down the line. But as I say, this isn't the end. There will be, I believe, some more content coming out for Battle Brothers. There isn't the next series. There'll be kind of just a little bit of different bits here and there, just to keep it a bit more fresh for me, just so I'm not jumping straight into another 50-episode series based after this one. But I will leave it there, as always. If you enjoyed this episode, and this series as well. Feel free to let me know in the comments below and also check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more on there that you will enjoy. If you haven't watched any of the other previous series that are set in the same universe as this series, feel free to go back and check out the knobs, the chodes, and the wankers. Yeah, don't worry, they do get abbreviated just like the scrotums if you don't know that already. But it does give an entire picture 
of how we have got to where we are now. Thank you to everyone who has got involved in all of those series up to this point. Feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done already. To be honest, if you got to the finale and you've watched 51 episodes or 50 old episodes of this series and all the others and haven't yet, just, just click the button already. Just click the button already. And feel free to join the Discord and get involved in the conversation in the interim until the next series of Battle Bros come out, especially if you want to give me some character ideas for next time. Ciao for now, guys and girls. I will leave it in the hands of Post Edit Northern to deal with the rest of the epilogue for you. Hope you enjoy it. Speak to you later. With their overarching mission complete, and after a long discussion at camp, the Scrotons come to an agreement that they had done all they could as a group to fight for the lowers of the land. And now it was time to come back to Newark and help the people who had been awaiting their return with bated breath. Whilst Newark and the Scrotums had quite a tumultuous relationship as of late, the ties that bind them were strong enough to pull them back together in agreement. Newark needed them, and they needed Newark. The commander of the Scrotums would eventually take up the mantle of mayor, as well as the one to deal with noble relations between the house above them and the other settlements within. Years will pass inside this idyllic town as a great reform and building act takes place. Newark, that started out as a small village, grows exponentially to cover the entire coast of the nearby river and breaches the mountains, utilizing the fat of the land to increase their ability to trade for the land of Perrin and beyond. Throughout these years, there was still strife and challenge. The Romanian scrotums who returned to Newark those years ago were all given their lives back in their own hands to decide what to do with their own futures. These are their stories. Sky Splitter would hang around Newark for the first six months, attempting to force his food concoctions on the locals before one day howling and grunting that he still needs to take the heads of those gits running off into the mountains, not to be seen again. He may still be slaying greenskins to this day. Bull Endrin would eventually put down his bow and decide to build a local Fletcher's inside the settlement of Newark with the help of the once seven slave Steve, who had since taken an eye on throwing an archery. Bow's bows would be widely accepted across the land as a respectable Fletcher's in the years to come, and many would be Fletcher's would travel to Newark as a pilgrimage to visit the famous once Scrotum to take in his lessons. Steve would assist Bow with the day to day work of the Fletcher's before eventually leaving Newark three years later, proud of what he had accomplished, but not satisfied with how he had left his other friends to the whims of the Southern Slavers. Last time you had heard, he had created a refuge near Air for wayward free slaves with nowhere to go. With her war over, but her past still very much fresh in her mind, Caitlin would thank the commander of the Scrotums before leaving Newark for good, travelling the northern lands in the hopes of finding the source of the awful magics and powers that traumatised her so, and putting an end to them once and for all. Andrew would become captain of the Newark Guard. With a level head and a keen sense of soldiering, Andrew would hold the office of captain for many years until he was almost too old to constantly hold his signature cleaver. It would only be on the Night of a Thousand Shadows that Andrew would finally fail to defend Newick's walls, and that would cost him his life. Elias decided that since he was definitely stuck in this strange land, that he would come to accept Newick as his newfound home, dedicating his life to being Andrew's counterpart at night time. The streets of Newick had never felt safer under the constant watchful eye of the fallen night watchman. Only few could spot him at night, but all found comfort in his due diligence to keep the land safe. Hilmer would leave Newark a month after the group arrived, following behind Eric who led Hilmer and a few other town converts away from the land, to find their apparent purpose. Nobody would ever see Hilmer again until he was too late on the Night of a Thousand Shadows, her face now twisted in cultish promises and a bashed apathy towards others that do not sit under Daphkor's embrace. Elian and Elmer would together build a hunting hut and ground just outside of the walls of Newark, in a local woods with the agreement from the new mayor. What started as a competition and bet between them became a full-blown business which saw Newark's food exports booming. When Elmer eventually died of old age in his hunting chair, Elian was the one to bury him in the church grounds with the other scrotums. After he and Elian's hunting grounds took off, Elmer's age began to shine through more than it ever had. The endless years of war, witch hunting and battle had not been kind to Elmer's body. Thanks to Elian's constant support, Elmer had a comfortable bunch of twilight years where he was seen as a respectable but now frail uncle of Newark, before finally passing five years later. Miasmic would use her magics and the versatility of her warden to assist with the building efforts of Newark until she decided that she had interfered in the lives of mortals for long enough and did not want to have a much bigger impact than she already had. One year later, Miasmic would return to the lands she had once known. 
A nearby trader, who had coincidentally followed the same path, swears that one second she was there by the trees, the next, gone. Who really knows who or what Miasmic truly was? Heinrich, still as chipper as the day he joined the Scrotums to get stuck into battle, didn't take well with more peaceful times, and whilst trying to fit in with the Newick Guard, thanks to Andrew's efforts, Heinrich would eventually leave to try and start a company of his own. Unfortunately, you haven't heard anything since. Clad would eventually return to the Desert Lands, his potential unfortunately shattered in his own mind. He decided to test his newfound abilities as strong and able in both melee and ranged combat in the Great Southern Arena. Apparently he found a like-minded group of others with failed potentials, who still strive to be the best they could be, and created an arena fighting group that Muktarhin had never seen before. Yurton, a man allegedly teleported from another land, didn't take that long to get used to life in Newark. Unsurprisingly, as a vocal backer of the Scrotums in his time, it wasn't hard to see that Yurton was the perfect man for the job to lead the logistics and manpower of the rebuilding efforts, being able to sway even the most exhausted worker for just one more push to finish the job. It is not known if he survived the Night of a Thousand Shadows. Keymore would eventually tag along with Kalad on his journey down south before departing with each other at the arena. Wishing each other well, Keymore would travel the seven lands and hunt down the slave drivers in the hopes of giving him a taste of their own medicine. He would eventually bump into Steve and help at the Air sla Slave Refuge. With a love for sharp objects, it wasn't until Poker had begun his quest to create the sharpest halberd or spear that the world had ever witnessed. In doing so, Poker accidentally creates a niche weapon shop that only specialises in long sharp weapons, just so he can get rid of what he sees as his wasted excess weapons, the ones that didn't make the cuts. It is not known if he finally achieved his goal, but official reports say that many occultists had been pierced clean through during the aftermath investigation of the Night of a Thousand Shadows. Schmidt will stick around to assist in the building effort of Newark before he discusses his leave with the mayor. They both come to a gentleman's agreement about business for imports and exports between Newark and Schmidt's blacksmith work back home with his son. Schmidt would then take on the journey boat to return home to find his son, three of his noble shackles, already working hard to bring good to their family name. The smithy would become a hotbed for famous weapons and arms in the north for generations. Linus would take on the journey in an attempt to discover where the other half of the armor he had acquired could be found. With his trusted cleaver and a true sense of hope in his heart, Linus would depart nine months later into the great wilderness of the Black Spire. Whether he achieved his goal or became another one enthralled by the spire is anyone's guess. Corvo would take on the mantle of the mayor's head scout and shadow. Wherever the mayor went, he would guarantee that Corvo was not far behind, ever vigilant of oncoming danger. It was thanks to his fast action and thinking that the mayor survived for as long as he did during several negotiation processes in the years. It was only during the Night of a Thousand Shadows when the mayor was taken by the cultists that Corvo had failed in his role, but fortunately, being one of the few to survive, sets off in a hope of retrieving his long-standing friend and boss. His family's name now restored with at least an ounce of respect and glory after the rocky time it had had in times past. Brian thanks the commander for the opportunity and restore his family name, before setting off by himself to continue his journey thusly, in a continued effort to ensure the name of Hammerfell would be a name well worth remembered by the good people of Perrin and beyond. Last anyone had heard, Brian had come into a plot of land that his young family now take residence in, whilst Brian travels the lands, attempting to sort out the ills of this world, one may smack at a time. Cora, after assisting and training up the new Newick guard in her expert sword techniques, would eventually leave, like many others, to tour the lands of Perrin, in the hopes of passing on her sword stance lessons to as many people as possible, in the hope that the more lowers that can defend themselves against this world, the more fair a world it may be. She would eventually open up her own training school north of Barbarish, not charging a thing to anyone down on their luck. The Cora sword style would be a te technique and stance that would be used for generations to come. Drisk would briefly travel with Cora before departing at a crossroads, thanking the person who he had seen as his master the entire time. Drisk would set out away from Perrin and travel the entire northern continent of Altaria in the hopes of finding people of equal footing to him in battle. The few reports you had heard over the years regale a tale of a man with a sword made of lightning who cuts through his foes in a flash. He was one of the few eventually recruited by the northern headhouses to go and investigate the goings-on on the western continent of Adoria, after the grand flash that happened from their lands 13 years later. Nobody knows if he survived his travels there. Lysandra, a Newark local through and through, settled back in relatively quickly into her own home, although it wasn't too long that she realised how much battling and killing had changed her as a person. She reflects much in the years to come, and all the friends lost would eventually decide to use her axe for good 
instead of constantly bisecting people whenever she felt like it. Starting a woodcutting business and mill, she took on the orphans of the town to assist her with her work, and in return would care for them like the mother they didn't have. She would enable all of them to flee successfully in the Night of a Thousand Shadows, in which Lysandra would grind her axe one last time. Hursty would attempt to sober up on multiple occasions, which would be met with odd applause from the locals for a good attempt. After accepting that he was now more alcohol than man, and also partially confined to an armor befit for a god, Hursty would load up essentials, eh, mostly booze, let's face it, and travel into the local mountains to begin a new mining legacy. Whilst he may never be truly sober, he can still smell a mineral deposit leagues away, and with his newfound power of the Eiji Rock, it wasn't long before he was able to carve the entire land to his own drunken whims. Eric's mental state continued to flick between general apathy and unending madness since he read the black book found in the sunken library. A man who already followed the ways of Davkal had been given a slight insight into the ways the world truly works, and just from that small look, it had broken his mind. Or had it? He began to see more and more visions of the one they call the Darkness Unending, and within a month of coming back to Newark, Lees with Hilmer and a few other converts in tow. It is said that Eric led this contingent on a journey across the sea to the western continent of Adoria to go meet the true aspect that they'd been hunting for. It was only 18 years later, during the Night of a Thousand Shadows, that Eric once again appeared in the land of Newark, but this time at the head of an endless stream of darkness. A cohort of a thousand cultists in his shadow had travelled from a now dark magic infested western continent to pass Davkor's judgment onto the northern lands. This was the beginning. This was the Night of a Thousand Shadows. One month later, a group of cultists depart the western continent of Adoria, led by Eric. Five years later, Newark is recognised as a large town, thanks to the efforts of the Scrotums. Eight years later, Reports of cultists en masse or travel to Adoria from every other continent, sparking a short-lived truce while continent-based continent governments investigate. Thirteen years later, the Great Flash Incident. Reports of a blinding light that originated from Adoria, which was followed by what was described as an ear-shattering explosion, is heard and seen from all points of the known world. Sixteen years later, all communication from Adorian government has ceased and a noticeable increase of cultists have flooded the northern and eastern areas of the world. Eighteen years later, the Night of a Thousand Shadows. A cohort of cultists descend upon towns and villages in the north, starting in the region of Perrin, notably with an up-and-coming town called Newark. Reports state that many were sacrificed, others captured, with very few survivors. An investigation into the incident has led to discovery of a message written in the remains of the townspeople of Newark. Davkol is coming. Will a new group rise up to ban the lands together in preparation for this, or will our next group be swayed in Davkol's embrace? Find out next time. Thanks for watching.